Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of June 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also Aries, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. Okay, Aries, uh... <clears throat> I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Okay. Uh, so Aries, I have started with extended readings and if you are interested in the same, if you are excited to know what your person thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and your person. If you are excited to get some advice regarding your life, your money, your career, you can go ahead and you can check out the extended reading. The link for the same is provided in the description box. The link for the same is provided in the comments section. You can check out that link and uh, you can click on that link and it will lead you to the extended reading on Vimeo platform. Make sure you follow me on Vimeo just the way you follow me on YouTube. Now, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, place a couple of cards over here. They will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Okay. And thereafter, if the time permits, we'll pull out some oracle cards. Okay. And that's how we are going to wind up the reading. So Aries, let's get started now. So we have Devil, then we have Page of Wands, then we have is uh, Four of Swords, then we have Ace of Swords. Then we have is the lovers. Then we have is page of pentacles. Mutual energy is that of knight of swords and seven of pentacles. Okay. So Aries, you may be dealing with a Gemini, Capricorn in particular. Otherwise, I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Uh, if the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. So, Devil, Page of Wands, and Four of Swords. Huh. Uh, it is, there was a mix mix of emotions uh, you you experienced a lot of emotions in the past okay so there was disappointment as well there was uh, 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 sadness as well but at the same time there was a lot of anger and annoyance as well okay why why were you feeling angry why were you feeling annoyed is because there was this feeling inside you Aries that you invested so much in this relationship okay you loved this person so much you were always there for this person whenever they needed you okay you showered so much of unconditional love okay unconditional care for this person this person had never and ever experienced in their life so much of unconditional love and care okay but you sh you did that okay without any expectations in return you kept on giving this person but then you reached a point okay where you were draining yourself of a lot of energy you reached a point where you were feeling empty inside you why empty because you were not getting any love back from your person there was no reciprocation that was happening to you right and that emptiness was causing a lot of anger inside you that when i am doing so much for you you can't even do this much for me okay so that vacuum was causing a lot of anger that emptiness was causing a lot of anger 
okay but then later on you realize that there is no point in becoming angry okay there is no point in becoming angry because there should have been a stage where you should have realized uh, quite early that uh, there was no need to invest so much okay you you are thinking that probably you realized or there were a couple of mistakes that you committed uh you realized it late you should have realized way before that there was no need to shower so much of unconditional love when you could see that this person is not giving you anything in return in the first instance itself you should have held yourself back but you continued giving this person okay so you realize that yes this person also committed some mistake but yes even i committed some mistake okay so if i am angry for the existing situation i am also partially or bit responsible for that okay and even if i am angry uh even if i am not responsible for the situation is there any point in becoming angry there is no point in remaining angry okay i am unnecessarily wasting my energy on this situation which is not uh am and i'm wasting my energy on some sort of expectations that i have from from this person which are not turning into reality okay i'm giving my energy towards something or someone who may or may not fulfill my expectations and my dreams okay so there is so much of uncertainty around the situation and i know that there is so much of uncertainty then why should i waste my energy becoming angry towards that uncertain situation right so you are quickly realizing aries that there is no point in wasting your energy so much towards a situation which may or may not happen so what is there in your hand let us do that what is there in my hand i can keep myself calm i don't have to distress myself over certain things which i don't know are going to happen or not okay i can control my anger i don't have to create emotional instability inside me what is there in my hand i can control my emotions what is there in my hand i can direct my life in the right direction and that's what exactly you are doing okay you're controlling your your uh, you're controlling your uh, distressing uh, emotions okay you're controlling emotions which are causing distress inside you and you're redirecting that energy towards a proper cause you're redirecting that energy towards something that is more productive towards something that is bringing you more happiness that is bringing you more satisfaction that is bringing you more contentment inside you okay so what exactly you're doing i see that there is there is a you're working towards something maybe a career maybe an artistic hobby or maybe maybe you know something that really calms you down that's what i see you started investing your time in some hobbies probably or you will start doing that maybe some artistic activity or you'll just start listening music or you may start exercising you may start doing meditation and yoga okay which will calm you down from inside and uh, now that you have calmed yourself down now you are thinking that what else i can do in my life which will be progressive okay about which i can become excited okay even if it goes off track i'll have a control over it and i can bring it back to the track not unlike the my love relationship where in i was also slightly codependent on my person to work towards this relationship okay if this relationship was getting off the track i needed the support i needed the work from my person also in that situation for my relationship to bring it on the track both of us were required to work towards it but regarding my career regarding my hobbies it is totally under my control i can work towards it even if it goes off track i can bring it back on the track right so you are trying to see which things are under my control okay and what i can do what i can do towards them okay what i can do to bring more happiness and satisfaction for me so probably you are working on your career you are working on your uh 
your hobbies or some artistic activities, creative activities. I guess you are also thinking about your future. Okay. You are trying to make a plan in keeping a future of 5 years down the line, keeping a future of uh, 10 years down the line in your mind. And uh, probably you are charting out like 5 years down the line, what do you want to see happening in your life? 10 years down the line, what do you want to see happening in your life? Right? So that's that's some sort of an energy you are in right now, Aries. Are you thinking about your past person? Yes, you are thinking about your past person intermittently. Okay. You are hopeful about the situation because there was a lot of passion in the situation. You are hopeful or you want things to work out between you and them because you know that you invested a lot in the situation. But you are not stuck. Okay. It happens well and good. It doesn't happen. You are still okay with that. You are not in a uh, energy where you you desperately want it to happen. Okay, either it happens, either it doesn't happen. You are okay uh, with whatever the outcome is. Okay. As far as your person, Ace of Swords, the Lovers, and the Page of Pentacles. Wow. Huh. Your person. Aries, your person is being pushed to come towards you and bring, bring clarity to this uh, situation, okay? Your person is being pushed by the universe, by their spirit team, by unseen forces to take action towards this connection. There is clearly some unfinished business, a business between you and them, okay? There is clearly something that still needs to be done in this situation. And that is also one of the reasons why you still think about them or why you still feel them. Okay. This person is meant to rectify the situation, Aries. Okay. Or at least they will have to come towards you with an apology. They will come towards you. They do have a lot of love in their mind. Okay. Uh, I see that they are, they want you in their life, uh, Aries. Your person wants you in their life. They are, I'll be honest, they're, the clarity in their mind is, they haven't achieved much clarity around the situation. But one thing for sure is that they don't want to lose you. They want your presence in their life in one or the other form. So when I say one or the other form, it means that they want you primarily, of course, they want you as a romantic partner, but it, the ball is in your court, Aries, right? Uh, it depends upon how you respond to them. If you say no, they will be like, then at least let us stay friends. Or at least let's do something together professionally because of which we'll stay in touch with one another. But I don't want to lose you. You stay with me. You don't block me. You don't disconnect with me. Okay. I need you and I will, I, I want you. Okay. Uh... This person has slowly started realizing their love for you, Aries. They they are trying to pick up certain events from the past. And then they are realizing that it's not just Aries who was in love with them. But they are also very much in love with Aries. And they, they cannot deny that. They are not able to deny that to themselves. They have accepted to themselves that they are in love with you. They may have acknowledged that to you in the past. They may not have acknowledged that to you in the past. Most likely, I feel that they have not acknowledged that to you in the past. But I see that they have at least acknowledged that to themselves, that they are in love with you. Okay? I think so. <laughs> I think so this person is also a bit sexually driven like they are missing those intimate moments with you Aries okay that's what I see they are missing those intimate moments with you we have is knight of swords and eight of uh, sorry seven of pentacles as a mutual energy both of you are realizing that uh, what was the exact loss in the situation 
and both of you have this energy where uh, you want to engage with one another again but the fear of uncertain conclusion is uh, holding you holding both of you back okay so if this resonates uh, aries go ahead and check out the extended reading the link for the same is provided in the description box the link for the same is provided in the comments section i advise you regarding your uh, uh, you know what action this person will take towards you what are their two worst and the deepest feelings towards you uh, what is the likely conclusion between you and your person i also advise you regarding your life your money and your career the link is provided in comment section and description box you can click on that link and it will lead you to the vimeo platform make sure you follow me on vimeo just the way you follow me on youtube okay all right aries uh, please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye bye